a hexagonal prism this is a problem number 11 a hexagonal prism of 40 mm side is there it's a prism at the top of the prism there is a cone of 40 mm diameter resting means you have to imagine that a uh, first prism you have to draw at the top of the prism you have to draw the cone so to draw the prism first we have to construct a original length of 40 mm prism and you have to make the box for that box you have to give the numbering so i'll give number here one two three four and for all the corners will give a b c d e f so i have given naming a b c d e f and for the corner of the box that is square i have given 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 now but to transfer this total hexagon into isometric you have to measure this total length from 4 to 1 or you can take it as 2 to 3 the total length we will get 78 and then this distance 3 to 4 also you have to measure that distance will get it as 70 so now mark any point a uh, mark a point anywhere in the isometric sheet then from 1 we will mark it as 1 from 1 the right side is 2 right side is 2 so that 2 will be taken right side left side is 4 left side is 4 4 will be taken from 1 to the left side so 2 it is having 70 millimeters is nothing but 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 7 boxes you have to make and mark second point that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 because 1 box is equal to ISO 10 next this size 78 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so 78 is nothing but close to the 80 so we'll mark it as 4 now we have to transfer again these lines so we'll draw the line here and then the line at this place so these will meet here this point is called as third point the thin line you have to draw at the beginning don't make any line dark So all the four points have transferred. This side is ISO 70. This side is ISO 78. So we got a box of 1, 2, 3, 4. Now we have to transfer the distances A, B, C, D. A is in between 1 and 2. A is having a distance of 35. A and D are having the same distance that is at 35. Because total 70 is there. So 1, 2, 3, 5. This is A. And here we will get 1, 2, 3, 4. That is d a and d are at the same distances so now b and c b and c in between 19 it is so totally close to 20 this is 10 15 19 so from here also 19 so already you have taken 78 here so we'll take 19 at this place so here we got b point c point and then e point F point which are having the same distances 19 millimeter so all these points I got now we'll join these little bit darker than the before this is now I have transferred a hexagon at the top now the height is given for the hexagon is 60 hexagon prism is having 60 millimeter height in this first I have to take the center center will be obtained by joining 2 and 4 1 and 3 corners so 1 and So we got the center. From the center height, we have to take a 60 millimeter height. As I already explained, how to take the height in the last problems. So first, we'll take this as a reference. 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सिक्स हाइट फ्रॉम दिस टू दिस यू टू टेक दाइट देन मार्क फ्रॉम ऑल द कॉर्नर फर्स्ट वी हैव टू ट्रांसफर दी फर्स्ट वील ट्रांसफरिंग दिस लाइन्स वन टू थ्री फोर देन वील फॉर्म द प्रिजम देयर फॉर दैट वी टू ड्रॉ दी नाइंटी डिग्री लाइन फ्रॉम ईच पॉइंट सो एम टेकिंग पैरल टू दिस सो बिकॉज ऑफ नाइंटी डिग्री the roller scale you can take the parallel line otherwise you have to take 90 degree line from these points now we'll join these points Note the line. Here we have to join. Then this will be joined here. Then this point to here. Then that to this. Now I transfer this base one two three four here once again. So now you can take ninety degree from each point. So no need of any divider here. You can take from all the point ninety degree till it intersect at the top. D is in between three and four. F is in between one and four. Next C is. In between two and three, B is also in between two and three. A is in between one and two. So that all the point will write here A, B, C, D, E, F. Here is it. So we'll just join these points with dark line. Now we have transferred all the A B C D point at the top. Now we have to draw a cone at the top of the prism. Now I have taken the center. Once again, I will join one and three. So we got the center here. So from this, you have to take the ninety degree line to take the height. So height is fifty millimeter. So we'll take height fifty mm. So below this, from this point, we'll cut. So here we'll get the height. S of fifty height we got. Now we have to draw this cylinder here. That is bottom face of the cone here. From here, the distance we have to take is on this line. On this line, we have to take the distance, and also on this one three connected. So on one three connected line, you have to take not at the height. So it is having a diameter of forty millimeter, forty mm diameter is there. So twenty you have to take. For that, we'll take the distance. Don't take any scale. Take the distance from here to here. So this is twenty. So this is twenty. So by keeping at the center, just cut on either side. and then 20 from here height will be taken 
this 20 from here it is 20 but width will be taken this 20 height will be taken this 20 so from this point we'll cut it on either side so we got we got a 20 millimeter ISO 20 mm box here so this should be cut on this now we got the now it is a 20 so here from here it is 20 here so we'll take center for both so we'll take center here on either side and here also you have to take the center 15 10 20 now we have to join the centers to the opposite edges from 3 i'm joining the center just simple thin line constructions As construction lines are more here it is very difficult to understand already I have explained how to draw the circle you just go through that you will understand how to draw here so this says center this says radius 3 as center this says radius so draw the arc and then this says center to draw the arc and then this says radius we have to draw the arc and then this says center this says radius we have to draw the arc now this says center can draw the arc there may be a small variation but still you have to draw arc from here and then this is center you have to draw the arc this is center you have to draw the arc and then you have to give the tangency to this at a height already you have taken the height tangency for this So this is the tangency you have to give so that a prism of 60 40 mm diameter 40 mm length and a cone will be at the top of the prism now i'm making the line which are darker which are visible you have to make it dark So these lines are visible and you have to make it dark so this complete part and here only till this you have to make the dark because this part is this complete part is thin it should be thin because a cone is overlapping the prism at this place.